Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Review today. I do appreciate you stopping by. This beer comes from Bale's Brewing. Uh, this is their Abracadabra, which is a English sweet slash milk stout. This is a very low ABV, uh, probably a good transitional beer coming in at 5.5%. I don't buy 5.5% milk stouts, guys. Uh, they do not have enough taste or flavor from this guy. Uh, Ten years ago, I probably would have thought, not had it before, but probably thought this would probably been a very, very impressive beer. But nowadays, I like my milk stouts or stouts to be 7% or bigger. I would probably not buy this beer being, whether it's good or not, I like my milk stouts a little heavier than a 5.5%. That's a transitional beer as far as I'm concerned. So, if you've never had a, a milk stout, uh, this may be a good one to jump into at 5.5%. It's not going to blow your palate out of your mouth. It's not going to make you inebriated, uh, too drunk, or, or anything like that. But I find these beers to be very thin and very watery at just ABV. Uh, so, this was sent to me by Dave. So, Dave, thanks again for sending it to me. He's up in that area where these beer, beers are done, up in Michigan. Uh, the Bills beers, uh, and the Two Heart is one of my favorites, guys, but I find that they are... Two and a, two, two and a half, three months old before they even show up on the shelf around here. I don't know why it takes that long for it to get transported from there to here and go through the distribution and get to the stores, but that's the problem that I have here. Bell's beers are usually three months old before I see them on the shelf, and I don't buy them. Uh, every now and then I'll get lucky and find one that's like two, two and a half months old, uh, and I'll I'll still purchase it even though I know the hops have faded already by then, but, you know, it is what it is. And the distribution in Virginia is freaking horrible. It sucks out loud. It sucks hind titty. It really does. So, uh, it is what it is. Uh, and you guys can get the, the beers like this that are two or three days old, week old. Consider yourself lucky because I'm not in that category. Especially from beers coming from Bells and a lot of other breweries. They're they're at the end of their shelf life before they even show up here. So, let's find out what this one brings to the table. Uh, like I said, it's not a big beer at 5.5%. Let's jump over to Untapped. They don't have the IBUs listed. And they say, commercial description, coffee milk stout brewed with 100% Arabica coffee beans roasted uh, by Ferris Coffee in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Bright, fresh coffee, chocolate roast, full body, and made with lactose. So it has a lactose milk sugar, uh, which is unfermentable. Uh, so it gives it a nice sweetness to the beer. Uh, and this beer is pretty fresh because they contacted me. This one was packaged on 10-8 of 2016. Today is 11-3. So it's not even a month old. I cannot get these beers here that fresh from Bell's. I mean, if this beer shows up, it's going to be three months old. And by that time, the coffee's already started fading, guys. So, Dave, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate you sending me a very fresh version of this. So, uh, that's all we need to talk about, I think. So, it is time. Final beer of the evening for me. So, let's jump into it and see what we have. Nice hiss. Not a lot of smoke coming out of the bottle. And I'm going to pour this fairly aggressive, guys. That's about as aggressive as you can pour a beer. So, with that super aggressive pour, 
we got about a finger and a half of head on that over into the light guys I'm not getting a whole lot of light pitch black looks pretty good nice uh, khaki colored head on that beer to the nose we go <sighs> definitely getting the coffee I mean that's so impressive when they do a coffee beer and you still smell the coffee of course this is a very fresh version uh, this this beer will probably show up here in about a, another two months <laughs> Uh, so uh, I have to rely on my wonderful subscribers to send me beers that are this fresh. Rich roasted malt, hints of coffee, caramel, toffee, black molasses, maybe a little bit of bittersweet chocolate, not much. The coffee is standing out more than anything else, which it should be. Uh, when you have a coffee beer, you should be able to smell that right up front. That should be the most outstanding characteristics of the beer if it's a coffee beer that's my opinion though it smells pretty good so let's dive in cheers everybody cheers dave thank you my brother i do appreciate it sir and as you can see we're down to about a finger of head it's dissipating pretty quick Very nice coffee notes. Coffee's off the chain, guys. It's like an espresso or Sumatra coffee. Very prominent coffee taste on this beer. Very, very nice. And with the lactose, it has a very nice sweetness to it. It's not too bitter. Very smooth. But of course, it's little on the thin side, watery side, being at five and a half percent. The great transitional coffee beer. Not something I would probably purchase for myself, being at five and a half percent. I want something a little more ABV to get that bigger, bolder body. But still, a good breakfast beer. It's five and a half percent on the weekend. You don't have to go to work Saturday or Sunday. Have with breakfast. Very nice coffee notes if you can get it fresh. So, and this is a very fresh one. So with that being said, let me step on it. I'll be right back and we'll find out where it ends up. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, just a little left here. Guys, I'm going to grade this according to what I have here. I think it's a very nice transitional coffee beer. Uh, not something that I would probably purchase for myself being that low of an ABP. Uh, I like something a little thicker, heavier bodied beer for a stout. Uh, but I think it's a good transitional beer, a good transitional coffee beer. Especially if you can get it as fresh as what I've got in front of me here. Uh, very nice coffee notes. Uh, almost like an espresso Sumatra coffee notes on this fresh uh, I don't think the coffee notes are going to be as fresh uh, once it gets to three or four months old uh, you need to drink these coffee beers as fresh as you can get them just like an IPA or a double IPA because those coffee notes do fade guys uh, but for a five and a half percenter I find it a very nice tasty transitional coffee beer a good breakfast beer if you will so with that being said let's do the final chug here very nice coffee notes on the aroma and on the taste. I do find it a little thin and watery, but that's very common for, to me, for a five and a half percent uh, coffee beer. So, uh, to me, guys, uh, like I said, I'm gonna grade it accordingly. Uh, I'm going to give this beer an A-. It's a great transitional coffee beer. Uh, 90 for me, guys. Let's go over to Beer Advocate. They say 4.05, and that's in their A- scale also. Uh, and over to Untap for a final check-in. They have a 3.85. That's in their B- range. I think it's a little better than a B+, because it's got the ABV and the bottled on date on the back of it. Uh, good beer. It's, it's a good beer. Uh, I probably would not buy this beer because of the ABV. Uh, I like my coffee stouts a little heavier than that. A little thicker, creamier mouthfeel than what I'm getting on this. 
but it is a good transitional beer from these guys at Bells. So, with that being said, guys, if you've had this one, this is their Abracadabra from Bells Brewing. Uh, milk Sweet Stout at very low ABV at 5.5%. Let me know what you think. Till we meet again, uh, let's go see what's in the fridge.